guys you're welcome to floki's den my name is afolake and if you're joining me for the first time you're welcome you're welcome glad to see you and my first timers what is expected of you is to click the subscribe button and join the tribe we're growing and we're learning so join the tribe you also want to put on your notification bell so you get to know anytime i post a video here i share content about um, lifestyle and for as many that look forward to immigrating into a new country such as canada this is your go-to spot where you can find valuable information about what to look forward to and how to settle well and fast in a foreign country so you're welcome to my old subscribers thank you so much for coming back again you guys are the best thank you all the time so i heard about this company that buys wristwatches maybe you have wristwatches that are old or you no longer use and you want to trade it for cash i remember last year i got like a flyer somehow i missed going there because i was still embracing my wristwatches i love wristwatches i i cannot deny that i love wristwatches and i have a couple of them i gave away some while i was moving into canada and i still brought some but maybe the weather had a toll on my wristwatches some of them wasn't functioning some were even new they were gifts and they were not working so of course when i came it wasn't wristwatches that was my concern it was trying to get a job trying to settle down and all of those things so i kind of abandoned it some had batteries in them so maybe that one turned the head and it went saga but when i found this wristwatch or this jewelry store that could help me with my wristwatch um they checked it some batteries fixed and some batteries wasn't working new batteries and you know the way i would in fact ah i miss my country for those little things that you can get for very cheap prices i would have taken all my resources i remember then i would just pack them all together give it to my driver take them to um overlady in lagos and tell him that oh yeah this one strap this one battery this one even for my kids and my husband will do it and you probably come back with 1000 naira everything sorted out that's um equivalent of two dollars three dollars in the currency exchange rate i would have gotten a couple of wristwatches changed battery changed maybe a few straps and well they're working well but of course when i got here it was expensive initially batteries it was going for ten dollars twenty dollars and i say eh. of course i wasn't going to the dollarama few dollars one dollar two dollars so because i know that those ones wouldn't last so i wanted something that would really give me a long while before it goes dead so i had to go shop for something better so i got to the jewelry store and um, i was told 12 15 dollars kind of but because i brought a couple i brought almost about eight or nine wristwatches so i got a discount of like a ten dollar flat for each one so i changed all the batteries the ones that worked and i was left with two i'm going to show you now this is my fossil wristwatch i was left with this is one fossil this was actually a gift and guys it pain me i will not lie this wristwatch did not work and of course this silver wristwatch as well happened to be also be they were both gifts to me at different times um and they didn't work when they tried to put batteries in them and didn't get it to work it boils down to me changing the engine or something the engine has gone mental and when i asked for price they were giving me a price of about 150 um kind of that was going to cost me about was it 150 each or both of them was roughly about 200 or something and i said 
how much do they sell wristwatch do you know why will i go and use just to turn the head up and then there's still no guarantee that it was going to work so it kind of made me sad this happened to be my newest the newest in my collection and it's so painful that is not working so what can I do? I have to just let it go. So when I heard about this company, because of course last year I wasn't settling to doing anything, hoping that I'll get this to, to work. And this wristwatch, it's fully, fully. I just changed the strap. I'm going to show you what it looked like before it was broken. I bought it on one of my trips to Dubai many years ago. And I so loved it. I have two of the fully, fully wristwatches. I was looking for how to replace this is how it looks like a bangle wristwatch and i was looking for how to get this wristwatch this strap you know most of the straps come straight that you can flatten this does not so throughout the time i was trying to find out so when i got here and i was trying to replace all my batteries i tried to replace the strap i couldn't get it fixed so i knew i was going to order so way out was the problem how would i go about it so somehow i found fully fully on instagram i had to go search them out i found them and i sent a dm that i have this wristwatch that i needed to change the strap and of course i i guess i i reached out to the sales office but i was they sent me the email to send my request to that's the those that handle repairs and maintenance so I emailed them to let them know that I need to replace my strap. So I was asked to send a guarantee um, certificate where I can show them when I, um, the code, you know, all those details, Sha. So thankfully, I don't throw my guarantee certificate away. This is fully, fully, like you can see. And I have, you know, the, the name, the, uh, the details behind when I bought it and the bad, the name of the wristwatch, you know, it has a code, which also is written behind the wristwatch, but I had to go search for my guarantee certificate and I found it. So I emailed back to them. Apparently the wristwatch has been many years ago and the strap was different because probably they don't, um, they don't uh, make that kind of strap anymore. So they decided to give me an alternative, which wasn't too expensive guys me and wristwatch yeah. but the wristwatch is working there's no point selling or throwing it away it's just a strap when i got the cost for it it was so inexpensive even with the dhl or whatever they used it cost me like 37 euros and that's how much i bought this 37 euros that's like 50 something dollars so I was so glad that I got my wristwatch back. I love this wristwatch. And the second one I got from Fully Fully Den that I said I had was this one. This is also a very beautiful wristwatch. I love this wristwatch. You can see. It's so, it's really beautiful. I've um, changed the strap a couple of times, but the wristwatch is still really good and i of course i still have my guarantee certificate for that one as well subject of the matter like i mentioned um this is what i got it was put, sent in the mail and they buy coins if you have silver vintage toys sports cards luxury rich luxury wristwatches all silver or gold coins you have um, jewelry, gold, silver, platinum. That's in the carats. They wrote in 9, 10, 14, 18, 24 carats gold. And you have silver. Anything made out of silver. And I said, okay. Let me make some money from my old wristwatches that refuse to work. And get something better. So I decided to go check them out. They have a four-day um they're going to be around for four days at different locations within saskatoon and the closest one to me is in stonebridge where i'm going to be heading to sell my research so i have a couple to sell that um 
even my husband had one he's already taking his strap off this is one so i'm selling this for my husband my beautiful wristwatch my fossil wristwatch this one i guess those are the three that are going away yeah so i if i can take any video while i'm there i will let you see how it goes and i'll tell you exactly how much i made selling my wristwatches go click the subscribe button and keep following me so you can get better content every time i post let's go there So guys, I'm back. I went to see if I could sell my wristwatches in exchange for cash, but nah, it didn't happen. They were actually looking for vintage stuff. You know, those kind of wristwatches that you wine, not the battery ones. So I came back this discouraged. I couldn't make any money from my wristwatch. So I plan to send it down to Nigeria. Let me just go and use my Check any money to go and change the engine and still get it back working. I think that's the best deal, right? Because if I throw it away, it's still really meaningless. So if I can't exchange for cash, let's just fix it. So that's the plan now. I think I should wrap the vlog here because it's probably going to get so long. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I'm watching through, you know, today's vlog. I hope you had enough to watch and enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and join the growing tribe. Like, follow, put on your notification bell so you have, uh, you receive that notification when I post a new video. Continue to, you know, rep us, continue to follow us and continue to make us post more videos when you do those kind of things thank you so much again do have a wonderful time see you again in another vlog bye guys mm -hmm.